Yes. Sounds great. Um, thank you, Ben. And if you could make me also a host, I will share my screen and show you have, a little you bit have of Hilo. Sharing. Okay, great, cool. Um, yeah, so Hilo is a free nonprofit open source community platform for purpose driven groups. So it is a platform for people who are all trying to do something in the world together, share a common goal or aim like bioregional regeneration. And we need good spaces for coordination around these goals. And the, the platforms that exist for group collaboration are not designed for purpose driven groups. Um, or they are super extractive in their business model. There's advertising, there's like all kinds of crazy things happening. Um, and so Hilo is specifically designed for groups. Honestly, like RCN is a really good example of this groups that are part of an ecosystem and the people who are a part of them are drawn to this shared purpose but they're also part of five other groups and networks and all of these networks might be in conversation in collaboration and we need ways to be having conversations across groups and not operating in silos like the the mighty networks effect you can have a great experience inside your silo but then there's no collaboration with anyone else and no one group is going to single handedly regenerate the entire planet. We have to be in conversation with each other. We have to work together and we really need tools that can support that. Um, so that that's part of the reasoning behind Hilo. And the reason I'm showing up in this session is because one of the main interactions that happens on Hilo is offers and requests. And this is really, really core to our theory of change. We believe that trust and relationship are the critical basis for effective collaboration. In order to go out in the world and like move a lot of resources together, move people, like really achieve things that have a regenerative impact, there needs to be a lot of trust there. Like that cannot happen with people on the ground that like you don't know. Like that just doesn't, it just doesn't work like that in practice. And so we are engaged in an experiment to see if we can use a digital tool to help build the trust for impactful on the ground collaboration. Because regeneration happens in place, it doesn't happen on the internet. Um, and by, <laughs> yes, by, um, by, by making an offer and having someone meet you in that offer or making a request and having someone show up and help you with that request, those are the things that build trust. They build relationship. They build accountability because you're showing up and doing what you said you would do. And that is the core interaction that we think is necessary for creating effective purpose-driven groups. And so the idea of an offers and needs marketplace is very close to our heart. And one of the offerings here in this moment is that Everyone here is invited to step into the Hilo space if you want, either now or at some other time. And if your request or offer is something that you are open to sharing with other people at the summit or even more widely, you could put it in this Hilo space and create the opportunity for more people to see it and be able to meet you in it. If that's exciting to you, this is totally an option. So I'm putting the invite link in the chat. And I know Ben is also going to put this invite link as a button in the top of the space on Kiko chat so that people can find it later. Um, so you can go in there now or later. It takes just a minute to create an account. It's pretty simple. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just share really quickly so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'm going to demo creating a request. And this will only take a few minutes and then I'll be done with my monologue. Um, so what we're looking at is a special group we just created called Bioregional Regeneration Summit 2022. It is within a group for RCN, so it's already attached to that group. And in Hilo, you can have many different groups connected to each other. And we're looking at a stream. It's a pretty short stream because we just created this group. But this is the place where you'll see all of the activity that happens in the group. And so when you are sharing a piece of some you know whatever it is content on Hilo, you can choose what it is it could be a discussion a request an offer 
a resource, a project, or an event. So in this case, I'm making a request. And this is something I thought about ahead of time and drafted ahead of time. I'm putting in the title. What I'm looking for is family-friendly regenerative activities, things that I can bring my two-year-old to, but this, my title is too long. So my request is just family-friendly regenerative actions. Cool. And then I can put in a description. And again, I've written this ahead of time. I'm going to paste it in. So how can, my question is for all of you in this room and anyone listening, how can we involve our children and our elders in our ecosystem restoration, in our ecological regeneration? Like when we're going out, doing things, hands in soil, what are the best ways to do that that are accessible to people like elders and children? Because that's important to me. I have a two-year-old and it's just important for our success doing all this stuff. So I have my description in here. There's text formatting if you want to get fancy. And then there's a lot of other metadata that can help make your thing be seen and found by the right people. So we can put in topics. I'm going to put um, ecosystem um, ecosystem restoration as a topic. That has not been used yet, surprisingly. I'm gonna put regeneration. That's a pretty popular one. And I'm gonna put um, kids, I guess. <laughs> so we'll see how that does. And then next line here is what groups is this going to? In Hilo, you can create one conversation that goes to multiple groups and brings those groups into this one conversation. So you can share that conversation and invite people from multiple spaces. So this is going in the RCN summit group, but I'm also gonna put it in another bioregions group I'm part of called the bioregional commons, because I think someone in that group might have something to say too. Okay, this next part is the piece about public. If you want it to be seen by anyone on Hilo outside of these groups, that's an option for you that you can opt in or out of. I'm probably not going to do that just because that doesn't feel right for me in this moment. Then I can put a time frame. If my request or offer is something only active for the next week and then it expires, you can do that right here. But this is an open request. Um, and then I'll just say that my location, this kind of matters right now. I'm in Oakland, California. But, you know, people can comment from anywhere, of course, but if they look at the map, they'll see this post when they when they scroll over Oakland. And just for fun, I'm going to add a photo because it's more exciting when there's photos and I'm going to add a photo of my kiddo at a flower farm recently um, as an example of what I'm looking for. So now my post is ready. I'm going to post it. And you're going to see it show up here. Oh. So yeah, that's Sequoia. <laughs> so now I have my post and anyone looking at this can add a comment and say like, oh, this is what we do in my bio region. We have stream cleanup days and kids are awesome at that. Or like we do X, Y, and Z. It's very safe for children. Or like we do A, B, and C and it's easy for elders because of this. You know, that's what I hope that I'm going to hear in response. And for me as the person that created this post when i'm looking at it i have this bar that says is this request still needed at some point in time it might not be needed anymore or if it's like a discrete thing like i need a box of kale once i get that box of kale i can say it's done it's no longer needed and then it will show up with a badge that says like this was completed and so people can still see it but they know that it's done, it happened, the exchange happened and was a success. So that, that is my demo. And again, if you are coming in here and looking at it, the way that you start one of those posts is you can just click on this bar and choose request or offer. And you don't have to put in as much detail as I did. It could be very simple. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the demo for now. There's a lot more to Hilo, like a map, member directory, events, projects, um, but those are all things that you can explore. 
later. Yeah, so that's that is that for now. Any questions on that? Hmm. Regarding that last point, this is just this is a group on Hilo. It's not mm -hmm. an offers and requests only space. Mm -hmm. Offers and requests are a function that all groups have. So that means all those other things are, are also possible. Mm -hmm. And we'd be absolutely delighted if people used Hilo for all those other things too. Mm -hmm. um, and and is there there's a way to sort and and filter on that too? Right. So if we wanted yes. to come in particularly for that, and there's 30 discussions going on, which would be fine. Um, yeah, can... one of one really cool thing is that you can create a custom view on Hilo that selects just a certain subset of the content. So one thing that like I can just set this up because I'm a moderator, but I can set up a view that only shows active requests and offers. And so when anyone shows up to this group later on, that it would be in the left hand navigation and people can just automatically click on it and see everything that was added during an offers and needs marketplace in the summit. Right. Cool. Yeah. And so we I know we're going to point to the join the group link with a tab inside mm -hmm. of Kiko chat. We probably can't point to that custom view, though, because basically you have to be. Um, logged in or. Yeah, I mean. We could have both links uh -huh. and if people haven't joined yet, they should use the invite link. And then for people that have joined before, we can have the direct link. All and right. All right. So we'll have different buttons, join Hilo, you know, offers and requests list, something like that. Yeah. And if you're logged into Hilo, it's going to embed that. Well, we'll see you know, uh, inside of Kiko chat, or do you think it's going to have to be like we, a we'll we could out. do an embedded view, but let's have that conversation offline. We have two other questions here from yes. Francis. Um, how many, and I'm sorry, I don't know if I, if it was mentioned before, how many members do you currently have or different um, members and I guess groups as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have about 70 really active groups right now. Um, and in terms of like monthly active users, it's like in the low thousands. Um, so, for example, our most active group is the Planetary Health Alliance, and they have about 2,000 members just on their own. Um, but yeah, and there's also a, a group directory. So there's a space where you can go and, and search for any group that has chosen to make themselves publicly visible. So you can search by like keyword location and things like that and like find groups that are relevant to you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Lisa? Thank you, Claire. I was just waiting my turn. Um, of course, I missed, I came on the end. I had to go get something to eat and I just, I missed the whole presentation. But it sounds like Hilo is, um, there's so many platforms popping up, but Hilo mm -hmm. is, is it a, if you wouldn't mind giving me a, a quick thing, what Hilo is in two minutes, because I don't want to miss it. <laughs> but also, Ben, when you put your, your email address and the offers and requests, it just says Ben at Conservation Collaborative. There's no dot com or dot anything. Is that correct? No. Thank you for catching that. Okay. I just um, thought I'd let you know. But go ahead, Claire. We're recording this for people to watch later. So maybe we'll we'll hold off on that and just see for the people that did hear it, are there questions? And then we can answer that. Oh, 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 oh. I thought it was catching the end of it. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. If there's going to be a recording, you don't need to bother repeating yourself. I'm sorry, Claire. Other other questions to follow up on, on what Claire shared? Well, maybe we have a wrap for that then, um, and I'll turn the recording off. Yeah, well, just one last piece to like tie this all together. The reason that Hilo is even here is that we are longtime members of the Regenerative Communities Network uh, because we are involved in bioregional regeneration personally in our home bioregion of the Bay Delta of California. So we are super personally invested in place-based regeneration, and that's part of what Hilo is designed for with the geographic map. So like, there's a lot of aspects of Hilo that I haven't gotten into that are specifically related to bioregional regeneration. Um, and that's, that's, part, that's like the real reason why we're here right now among like all the platforms in the universe we're here because we have a personal relationship and investment in this work yeah yeah, yeah. we're really hoping to 
to flow at least some support your way through through the summit. I think you know High Low is a very cool project. It's 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 open source too, which is yes. And 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 it's a is it a it's it's a worker owned worker managed nonprofit structure, right? That that you have. Yeah, we practice sociocracy as our internal governance structure. And it's a it is is it an is it a nonprofit or some kind of an... yeah we're a nonprofit yeah um, also in the in the midst of a fairly substantial fundraise effort to this is really true yes. amazing new stuff you have lots more planned so yes right. I have another, another quick question because I'm trying yeah. to I'll sign in right now does it not is it only a project email because I'm trying to sign up with a Gmail address and it's not letting me. That should be totally fine. Um, if you want to okay. send me messages on the Zoom about what's happening for you, I can try to uh, okay. triage. Yeah, I'm just going. I'm just putting in. It says enter your email address to get started, and I did, and it just tells mm. me it's an invalid email address. Let me just type it up again because I might it might have just been that I didn't type it. All right. Hmm. Okay. I have a question. Uh, because because the spreadsheet is like a private to go mm. to the Hilo is like a we won't have the Hilo okay. embedded into the Kiko chat or how we link it. Right. So this, the spreadsheet is private. If you want to put something on Hilo, that's a separate thing for you to do. Um, we're probably not going to even make time. Maybe we'll make a little time on these offers and requests marketplaces for that. But um, mm. but it may be something you do afterwards. So the spreadsheet we just share with the people that are putting their names and emails on the list right now. And for those of you that might have joined a little late, I'm not sure if everyone's there. I think Clarissa, you might want to add that, add your name in the Kiko chat uh, page. You'll see that where people are signing in. Yeah. And then there'll be buttons to get you into Hilo. And, and we think maybe it's going to, if you're signed into Hilo, you'll be able to access it from inside of Kiko chat, but maybe it'll bounce you out to a separate window where either way we'll, we'll get you there mm -hmm. fairly easily from the Kiko mm -hmm. chat. Mm -hmm. all right well thank you again claire for coming by and sharing this and for helping to set it up and for all you're doing with hilo and regenerative work in general actually i meant to ask you of those 70 odd groups that you have how many would you say are in some way kind of part of this movement for for regeneration in general and and maybe also by a regional mm -hmm. um they're pretty much all purpose driven groups and many of them definitely the majority are specifically involved in regeneration mm -hmm. um there are a number of bioregional groups but that yeah and that's growing and we have a number of exciting bioregional communities that we're hosting yeah yeah all right so one, one other question but um just that then as when you say regeneration with mm -hmm. quote claire um like i'm curious just because i've i've been in the i guess in the journey for about mm -hmm. a year and a half or so and i've been working with the regenesis institute in my mm -hmm. own work Amazing. and i found that there's so many groups out there i mean i'm i'm a part of several but there's a different thought schools if you will so oh yeah i guess maybe would like to have like your opinion as far as to the groups that are in there like how do you is it mainly like ecosystems restoration or is it I don't I don't like to like point out like one being better than the other or anything like that I just mm -hmm. think that there's very a lot of differences going on ar around so I'd love to hear your opinion yeah that's a great I question actually <laughs> suggest that that's a conversation not for our offers and requests market okay. and especially that's totally fair it's like a help recording people are going to watch later like how do we oh, do okay that? okay okay <laughs> yeah um, so I'm going to, I'm going to stop the recording. I'll put my opinion uh, in the question, chat. Though. I mean, <laughs> this is totally something we want to explore in the summit for sure. Uh, there's so <laughs> much greenwashing, for example, around regeneration, even the origins of the term, but, um, yeah, so I, I don't want to discourage the conversation, just not this so, moment. So thank so you ben, again, Claire, and everyone else for, for, um, for being part of this little recording. This will go up on the, on the recordings list. I'm going to stop that now and we'll move into our actual marketplace for this session.